Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for Artbeads.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm showing you how to make the Starman Trendsetter Maiden Hair Collar Necklace featuring two hole Checkmates Dagger Beads, two hole Nib Bit Beads, and two hole Bar Beads along with some fun round seed beads and Toho Demi Rounds. It's a really beautiful piece and you can make it as long or as short as you want. So let's dive in and see how to make this cute beaded piece. today we have we're going to be making this maiden hair collar design which is a starman trendsetter design designed by ayako kosaka really beautiful it features two hole checkmates daggers you've got two hole bar beads and then the two hole nib bit beads which is a shape i haven't used yet in jewelry designs so really excited to try all of these out i'm loving how those nib beads nib, nib bits really stand out um, in this design this design also features 11 aught toho rounds and 11 aught toho demi rounds as well as three millimeter check glass round beads um, so really nice selection of beads we have lots of colors to choose from i've linked to all of the sections for shopping these beads in different colors i've also got links um, for these individual colors that i've used here today because i think these colors look really nice together i love how that turned out so um, i've got links to all of that we've also got um, a great little pdf diagram for how to make this piece um, from the Starman Trendsetters collection. It's really nice instructions with beautiful diagrams, a picture of the finished piece. So you can go all the way around with this, um, or you can make shorter little segments like I did here. I think for our demo today, I'll go a little bit longer, maybe do five daggers. But even this three dagger is super cute. You could just add some chain or ribbon to the loops on the end and have that be the center of your necklace. I think it's a really fabulous look, whether you take it all the way around or just smaller segments for the purpose of our demonstration today i'm going to stick with a shorter segment so we can get through all of the steps in a timely manner hello hi Anne. hello good to see you um yeah so we do have a link to this pdf um instruction so you can print that out and make it for yourself um so really great so as i said before you'll need two whole bar beads 11 aught toho demi rounds three millimeter check glass round beads, 11 aught Toho round seed beads, the regular 11 aught round seed beads, two whole nib bit beads, and they have this really great kind of almost like triangular corn kernel shape, and then the two whole checkmates dagger beads, as well as some Toho 1G beading thread. I've got it in a nice purple color that matches the colors of my beads and a beading needle. I usually use size 12. That's my go-to beading needle size. Um, use whatever size will work with the beads you're working with, with what you're comfortable with. Um, all right, so let's get started. You're gonna want, if you're gonna make a full length um, piece where the beads go all the way around the necklace length, you're going to want nine and a half feet of thread. And you're going to leave a very long tail too, because you're going to use that tail to weave again. I'm not going to use that long of a thread because I am making a shorter segment. So I'm just going to use like three or four feet here. I'm going to cut it. Hello, Gabriella. Good to see you. And then I'll add my thread to my needle. Hey, I got it. First try. <laughs> I'm getting good. All right. I do have a bead stopper here too, because I think that helps when you're first adding the beads. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add an 11 aught seed bead. thread out of the way so it doesn't confuse you guys we'll put that over there and then you want to you want a quite a long um tail because you're going to be coming back through the beads um with this tail the directions for the full length collar says leave a very long tail five and a half feet of that nine and a half so about half almost half of the length 
of your uh, thread. So I've got a long tail here. I'm gonna add my bead stopper. So this is a normal size bead stopper. I believe we also have smaller bead stoppers that are good for seed beading. So I'm gonna use that smaller one. So we're starting off with that 11 knot round. Then you're gonna add a nib bead, a nib bit. I keep wanting to call it a nib bead. <laughs> So the directions indicate a long hole and a short hole. So the long hole is the hole at the base. So it is longer. Short hole is the hole at the tapered top of the nib bead. Nib bit bead. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. I'm going to go through that longer hole for this step. Then we're going to add another uh, 11 knot round and two bar beads, which are these guys over here. And just check on your any of your two hole beads that the stringing holes are clear and are able to pass through. Sometimes with these um, coatings, the coating can block the stringing hole, but it looks like I have two clear holes here, so that's good. And then you just repeat that. The instructions say um, to repeat 30 more times, um, and that's for the full length collar. I'm just going to repeat it um, four more times, I believe. So we can have five daggers at the center of our piece. So we've got that 11 knot round, a nib bit bead going through that hole at the base, another 11 knot round, and two bar beads. We're going to check, make sure both those holes are clear. And again and again. <laughs> Nib bit bead after your 11 knot round seed bead. Another 11 knot round. Whoops. And I pulled too vigorously. My needle came off of my thread, but that's okay. We will just re thread it. Yeah, got it. Two more bar beads. I really like these colors together. I, uh, Kind of lucked out with the colors. They ended up looking really beautiful together. Let's do a couple more repeats of this pattern. Got that nib bit bead on there and our next to hole of knot round. Two more bar beads. Whoops. There we go go. So this is a fun way to use some cool two-hole bead shapes and it's a really elegant looking piece when you're all done with it. All right, one more. Add that seed bead, add the nib bit bead from the bottom hole or the long stringing hole. Add a 11 knot round seed bead. And then two bar beads. And when you've added um, all of the segments you want to add, um, you're going to finish with an 11 knot round seed bead and a nib bit bead in the long hole. And this one looks like the uh see the um i can't get my needle through that bottom hole because the uh the finish has blocked it i could probably use a bead reamer or um, like a pin cushion needle to get the finish um out of there but for the sake of time i'll just pick up another one And so then once you've got that extra nib bit bead added, you're going to jump up to the second hole of the last nib bit bead added. So I'm going through that top hole now. Now we're adding another row of beads here up top. So from here, we're going to add a demi round bead. 
So I've got this nice purple color for the demi round bead. And then the seed bead, the round seed bead. Then you're gonna add your three millimeter check glass round. Oh, my needle keeps coming off my thread. I hate when I do that. Let's put it back on. There we go. From here, you're going to add five Toho Demi Round seed beads. One, two, three, four, and five. So this is where it gets a little interesting. So from here, you're going to loop back around through that uh, three millimeter check glass bead. So these five demi rounds kind of sit on top of the three millimeter, three millimeter round in a little, kind of like little beaded arch. <laughs> there we go, make sure that's all together there. Oh, and look at what I did here. So I, I kind of looped around my bottom thread, so I'm just gonna pull it up, there we go. There, all better. So now I've got those demi rounds kind of in an arch above my three millimeter bead. So now I'm going to add another round seed bead and then another demi round, which is that thinner purple seed bead. And we're gonna go through the next nib bit over, the top stringing hole of the next nib bit over. So you can see when I was adding my first row, I was kind of um, placing those bar beads with the second stringing hole facing down. That's because we're not passing through those in this row. We're gonna be passing through um, the top stringing holes of the nib, be nib bit beads. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat that um, little segment we made between the nib bit beads all the way across our piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up another demi round another 11 aught seed bead, another three millimeter round. And I like to kind of lay them in place as I go, just helps visually. And we're gonna do that little loop thing again. So we're gonna pick up five of these demi rounds. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna loop loop back through that three millimeter round bead to create a little Toho Demi Round arch above the top of the bead. There we go. Then we'll add another round seed bead and another Demi Round seed bead. And go through that top stringing hole of the next nib bit over. It's fun to use these nib bits. I've not used them in a project before. This is a really nice way of using them and I like the um, contrast of color that they add to this particular design. All right, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna pick up a demi round, a seed bead, a three millimeter, check glass round, do our five demi rounds looping around the check glass round bead. So we've got the five demi rounds, we're looping back through that last check glass round bead added. Pulling tight adding a round seed bead and a demi round before going through the next nib a bit over. <laughs> and again, the, um, the PDF diagram for this has this all in wonderful up close diagrams with text instructions, which make it really easy to follow. So we do have that available for you to download and print out. All right, just a couple more repeats of this and then we'll move on. 
So I've got my demi round, my seed bead, my three millimeter check glass. Picking up five of these demi rounds here. Three, four, five. Looping back through that three millimeter check glass seed bead, adding another round seed bead and another demi round, and going through that top stringing hole of the next nib bit bead over. All right, last little sequence here. We're picking up a demi round, a round seed bead, a three millimeter round bead, picking up five Toho demi rounds, one, two, three, four, five, looping back through that three millimeter round bead to create a little demi round arch above the top of it so cute that adds a lot of fun texture picking up a round seed bead and a demi round we're gonna go through that last that last nib bit there now at this point you can tie off this thread I'm just going to leave it um, there. What I would do is I'd kind of weave back in and probably not in a couple places to tie it off. But this is where you're going to start um, using your tail. So I'm going to switch my needle. Oops, that's the wrong thread. That thread is attached to the piece I already made. I'm going to attach my needle to this long tail that I've left on this end. I will add the bead stopper to the thread we were working with just so nothing falls off there. <laughs> All right, so we've got our tail thread. It's already looking really pretty. I like these colors um, together a lot. All right, got my needle on my long tail thread. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to add another bar bead. Make sure both holes are clear. And then I'm going to jump down to the second stringing hole of that bar bead. We're going to create a third row beneath our first row. Um, so we've created a row above that initial row, now we're creating a row beneath. So what we're going to do here, after we've jumped stringing holes on that bar bead we added, we're going to add a 11 knot round seed bead. There we go. And we're going to do something similar to the top. We are going to add a, a 3 millimeter round check glass bead. And then we're going to add five demi rounds like we did on that top row and loop back through the uh, check glass bead. So I've got four there, five. So this is a really great, I think this is a really approachable two hole bead design because the weave isn't too intricate and you're kind of repeating a lot of the more loopy things that you're doing. So it's kind of almost like straight stringing, but there's just a little bit of loopy, loopiness happening, uh, which is nice. It adds to the intricate look of the piece. All right, so from here, I've got my uh, demi rounds looped around that check glass bead. I'm adding an 11 knot seed bead. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through that first bar bead here. And this is where we add the dagger. So you're gonna pick up a dagger and go through that top stringing hole on the dagger. And go through the next bar bead. 
the second hole of the next bar bead. So that's why I positioned them with the second hole facing down because that's the way we want them. And then you just repeat that all the way along the, the length of your project. So I'm picking up a seed bead. I'm gonna pick up one of these three millimeter beads. And then we're gonna do that little loopy thing with the demi round. So I've got to get five here. Three, four, five. Loop back through that check glass bead. Add another seed bead. Whoops! <laughs> Took my whole project with it. There we go. Now I've got my orientation all wrong here. This is why I like to keep my project laying flat because um, you can get a little loosey-goosey before you're done. There we go. I think I've got it back to how I want it. There. All right. Got that segment on with the demi rounds and seed beads going through that first bar bead in the next little section and then I'm going to add a dagger bead using the top hole of the dagger. So that's something to keep in mind. Don't pull too vigorously during this project because it does help to position your beads correctly on your mat while you're weaving. You know, sometimes I get too into it and just try and go fast. <laughs> I think we all do that. All right, next little segment, we've got one round seed bead, one three millimeter check glass bead, and then we do our little loopy with the Toho Demi Rounds, two, three, four, five. Another round seed bead and go through that next bar bead over just the first one. Yay! And then we pick up a dagger and add that guy between these two bar beads. I love how the bar beads really nest up well with these daggers. It's such a cool um, way of using them together. I never would have thought of that and it just adds a unique color combo. Really fun. It's fun to switch up the colors on designs like these because just switching the colors can make them look so different. The original piece here in the picture is like a lavender with um, like citrus green and the nib bits look like they're a pale silver blue, like just such a different look from the colors that we've got. So much fun to see um, the colors that everybody chooses. Can really change up the design. All right, three, four, five. Yep, we've got five there. We're going to loop back through that three millimeter round. Pick up a little gold seed bead. Go through that first bar bead. Add a dagger. We're almost done here with this row. Go through the next bar bead. Add our last little segment of the seed bead. Three millimeter round. Then we're gonna add five demi rounds and loop back through that three millimeter round. One, two, three, four, five. 
five. So we loop back through that three millimeter round we just added. Like so, add a gold seed bead. And go through that first bar bead. And then add a dagger. Now to finish this row, we are going to make another section of um, seed bead three millimeter round and loopy Toho Demi round. So I'm adding a seed bead. I'm adding a three millimeter round. I'm going to pick up five Toho Demi rounds. One, two, that's too many. Three, four, five. Loop back around through that three millimeter round. We're going to pick up another gold seed bead and then we're going to add a bar bead to the end of this. Look at how pretty that's looking. Loving that. So add a bar bead to the end of this. Now this is where um, you're going to add your loop for adding a clasp or you know adding chain in our case because we've got a shorter dagger section so what you do here is you pick up nine of these round gold seed beads so one two three four five six seven eight and nine come on there we go <laughs> Um, and then what you do here is you um, count down five, one, two, three, four, five, and loop back up through those last five added. It's going to make a nice little loop for attaching a jump ring, attaching a chain, and then come back through the last seed bead after that. So just the one seed bead after that. And then what you're gonna do here, and I need to push these down, make sure everything's nice and tight. What you're gonna do here is you're going to add three more gold seed beads. One, two, three. And go through that top hole of the bar bead that you added at the end there. Add another gold seed bead to your thread and then go through that top stringing hole of the last beam bead or nib bit bead excuse me getting my bead names mixed up all right then you have to do a little bit of a turn here to position your thread to where you want it for this last row. So we're coming out of that top hole of the nib bit bead. You're gonna come down through the bottom hole of that same bead. So this is, we're doing a little jump in here. <laughs> gonna come back through that seed bead we added between the nib bit and the bar bead. Gonna go back through that bar bead, just the bar bead, not the seed beads after it. If I can uh, get that going. Come on. There we go. Pull tight. And then you're gonna jump down to the second stringing hole of that bar bead. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come through that first seed bead there and then the three millimeter check glass bead, just those beads. And now we're in place to add our final row of beads. So um, this really kind of makes the structure even nicer. This is so pretty. I love it. 
And you can use your threads to go back through these rows, kind of reinforce. That's why I didn't tie off this thread yet, because I do like to go back through and reinforce. So for this final row, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up three of these gold round seed beads. So I've got three on there. And we're going to come through that second stringing hole of the next dagger. at that so just adds more shine adds more structure we're going to pick up three more of those gold beads and then what we're going to do from here you're going to come through that three millimeter round between the daggers so you're picking up three going through the three millimeter round or going through a dagger depending on where you are in the row one two three going through the second stringing hole. Remember there's two stringing holes on that dagger, so you're going through the second stringing hole here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this pattern so much. One, two, three. Going through that three millimeter bead between daggers. One, two, three, going through the second stringing hole of this dagger. That really just adds like just the final perfect finishing touch to this design is those last little segments of three seed beads. Um, between the daggers that really does just up the wow factor so pretty and i love that it's so easy to make it as long or as short as you want i think it looks really pretty um, fully beaded all the way around or just little segments like we've done here it's really nice so depending on how much time you want to spend on this project on bead weaving um, you can shorten it up which is nice it's always nice to have that option or spend your whole day beating and make it a really long collar choker, which would also be really nice. Three, going through this next three millimeter bead. There we go. One. Two, three. Hi, Anne Gardan. Good to see you. Just working on some bead weaving here today. I'm having a lot of fun and these colors. I really love these colors that I chose. And they are all available at artbeads.com. I've got a link to the specific colors I used, and then just the link to the shopping pages for these bead shapes. So you can choose your own colors if you want. <laughs> That's always fun. All right, so I've gone through that last um, three millimeter bead on this end of the piece. So what I do here is I go through that next seed bead and the bottom hole of the bar bead. And um, on this side, I'm going to repeat making um, the loop that I made on this side. So we add nine seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, <clears throat> seven, eight, nine gonna loop through the last five added one two three four five and then come down through that next seed bead down just the one to really give that loop some stability add three more seed beads And 
come through that top stringing hole of the bar bead. There we go. And then all you have to do from here is tie off your thread ends. I would go back through some of these beads and reinforce just to give the piece a little more strength, a little more structure. But it turned out so pretty. Look at that. Oh, it looks regal, elegant. And I'm going to attach some chain on the ends and make it a necklace. So super fun. Um, I think fairly easy bead weaving project and a great way to use different two hole bead shapes that maybe you haven't used yet. I haven't used the nib be beads before this. I've always been intrigued by the shape, but I think this is the perfect project for them. They nest up so beautifully with the bar beads and the daggers. So you can see um, the one I made before the show was only three daggers in width but the five is really nice too and you could go all the way around like the pattern calls for make about 30 segments and turn it into a really beautiful beaded collar so there's all kinds of ways and now you know what I'm thinking about with this three this might be some fun like hoop earrings maybe if we can get it to work but even like one segment one segment of this like just this you could turn that into some fun earrings. So this is a really fun pattern. It's got my mind going. I want to, you know, try different things with this pattern and different colors would make it really cool too. Um, so, so fun. We've got that PDF uh, printout for you um, to make this for yourself. It's got wonderful diagrams that are super easy to follow and text instructions. Again, this is the Maiden Hair Collar Necklace designed by Starman Trendsetter Ayako Kosaka. Um, really cool design. I loved uh, working on it today and hopefully um, you guys give it a try too. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was inspiring and helpful. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Leave a like and a comment below. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.